Hi folks, Alan from MindVisionMedia.net again, and I hope all is well with you and yours. Today I wanted to talk to you quickly about a plugin for your WordPress site. I'm using the responsive theme from Theme ID, but uh, regardless of whatever theme you are using, you want to install a plugin called Sidebars and Widget Manager. Um, and what it will give you is an item in your dashboard panel uh, on the left depending on your theme uh, that says sidebars and widgets and you want to create it allows you to create sidebars um, and widgets uh, your own widgets which are separate from the default theme widgets and so what I've done is I've created several um, for my Google Ads mainly because um, I like to place them oh, I want to have control over where I place them on my site and this plugin allows you to put them on pages, post, you know, in, in the middle of your page, top of your page, side of your page, bottom of your page, wherever you want, you have full control. So for example, I've created one for my Google Ads. Um, I have, um, let's just take this one for example, and if you go to my site, um, you can see I have my Google AdSense ads placed throughout my site. If you go to mindvisionmedia.net, you'll, uh, as you browse the pages, you'll see um, I have ads placed um, in different areas and you, if you're wondering how I'm able to do that um, it's really easy I'm using sidebars and widgets and so for example um, let's go back and go to the home page I actually have one right on my home page for the responsive theme and it's right here and the way I'm able to do that is with the, full, the control that uh, you're given with the sidebars and widgets so if we go to our dashboard go to appearance and widgets your theme may be slightly different again I'm using the uh, responsive theme from theme ID and earlier I showed you the list of widgets that I created and here they are they get added to your widget panel and so for example on my home page I wanted a 300 by 250 AdSense ad right here. So what I did was I selected, edited this particular widget by putting the code into a basic text, arbitrary text or HTML widget which I slide into the custom widget I created with sidebars and widgets and I centered it. I did a tutorial on that. You can check that out. It's on the uh, tutorial pages, uh, tutorial page on my site. And I centered it and did all the editing that I needed to do. I saved it and set the widget up itself. You want to set up the widget first before you insert it into your pages. Whatever content you plan on using the widget for, you can go ahead and edit it in your widget area. So I selected that. Basically, I went back to appearance theme options for my home page in responsive theme and here it allows you to edit the responsive theme home page elements um, the theme options actually so this is the content that you see on my front page for mindvisionmedia.net and as you can see I wrote a little bit of text here uh, and I, I inserted the short code for that particular ad 300 by 250 now where you get the short codes from if you don't have it already or didn't make a note of it is right here every time you create a new sidebar or widget it gives you a list of the short code so here are all the short codes for all of the widgets I created so I copied this short code Control C or Command C. Went to my theme options. Went to my home page. And after I wrote my text for the um, content area on the home page, I then inserted, pasted the short code for that particular widget. Now, whatever I put in that widget is what's going to show up. But all you need to put there 
is the short code for that widget. And once you do that and update, save your changes, that widget will show up with whatever you have in it. And the power of this plugin is it allows you to put the widgets wherever you want. They're not confined to just your sidebar or the bottom of your page or whatever. You can put these in the middle of your content, on the top of your content, the bottom of your content, in the middle of a paragraph, wherever. So it's a really powerful plugin that allows you to have a little bit more control. Sometimes themes can be a little confining and it's difficult to um, get control and insert things where you want them exactly. Well this plugin will help you put images, pictures, um, ads, whatever you want, wherever you want. And to extend the power of that plugin, what you want to also have installed is another plugin that's really great. And it's called Black Studio Tiny MCE Widget. Now this widget gives you a lot more control over your normal uh, default editing capabilities when you're building a post or a page and I'll explain to you what I mean. We'll just go to any page. And so what it adds to this bar right here, your default theme won't have this many buttons and options and tools that you can use. But the Black Studio Tiny MCE widget gives you all of that. And what it also gives you, and widgets. it also gives you a arbitrary text or HTML with visual editor widget which is different from this arbitrary text or HTML widget. This is a very basic one right here um, and I'll show you that. I'll just go into my test. We'll take that out and then we'll just drag in a regular one. And as you can see, there's no options here in the standard default uh, text widget. But if you drag in a Black Studio Tiny MCE widget into that area, look what you get. You get all of the options available from the Tiny Black MCE widget. Um, that is available when you edit a post or a page. So now you can insert pictures, you can do all sorts of regular editing inside of a widget. So now your widget has the power of a page or a post. So you can do HTML, all kinds of formatting, centering, justifying, numbered list, tab list, horizontal rules, tables, you know, it, it gives you many, many options. Um, you can insert sidebar short codes. Um, you can put a page worth of content inside of a widget if you want to. Um, but keep in mind the widget will resize based on your content. So that's something to extend the power of sidebars and widgets plugin is using it in conjunction with the Black Studio Tiny MCE widget which will give you full control over your widgets and the content that you put in them. So two very useful plugins that work well together and I hope this tip will help you gain a little bit more control over your default theme. If you have any more questions or um, inquiries about either of these, just contact me at mindvisionmedia.net. Alright, take care.